Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer and I've got another wax haul to share with you guys today. So I'm sharing my first ever order from Super Tarts. Um, I ordered an advent calendar from Super Tarts, but I'm not really counting that because it was just like little small pieces. And honestly, my family was sick during the holidays, so I didn't even really open each one like on the applicable day. And so I kind of just opened them all and threw them in a box and I'm like kind of just going through and picking a few every now and then to melt. So this is my first ever order like where I picked the scents and just like a really, a real order, if you will. So I'm excited. It was a, I forgot what she calls them. It was a Wednesday, like a special Wednesday that she had. And so I was really glad to have caught all of that information in their Facebook group. So I will link Super Tarts site as well as the Facebook group in the description box below. And I ordered mostly half BAM bags and the half BAMs were $8.75 and then I ordered one full BAM, which was $17.25. So let's begin. Let's see, the first thing I have here is a sample in Donut Judge Me. Really cute. I don't have the notes, but if I can find them as always, I'll put them down here. It smells like a, like a jelly donut. It's really fruity though. It's like a fruity bakery. So hopefully I can find those notes and let you guys know exactly what's in there. But it smells good and always thankful for a sample. Okay. The first one I have here is Festival of Lights. This is Flaky Pecan Rugelok Cookies. I probably just butchered that. I don't even know what those are or how to pronounce them. So let me know down below. And I'm sorry if I just butchered it. So Flaky Pecan Rugelok, or however you say cookies, dusted with a hint of cinnamon, warm creamy challa bread, and a buttery brown sugar. So these bags are um, full of these little like square shapes and they're two-toned and pretty large. You could almost cut these in half if you're a conservative melter. But this is just a very, I get the brown sugar most of all. It's, I don't, it says a hint of cinnamon, but I have like very faint cinnamon. And it's just a like creamy, buttery, brown sugary cookie. Like first sniff, I could definitely get the brown cinnamon and it was just very warm. Um, brown sugar, sorry, not brown cinnamon. Brown sugar, rich and creamy, but now I'm kind of getting that bread and cookie, heavy bakery and it smells really, really nice, so. Also, you know, I'm never going to just be like, I hate something or I don't like something on cold because scents can really change and transform into something just beautiful on warm. But I feel like I'm really going to like this one. It's kind of strange. The first smell I could smell was that brown sugar, but then it just kind of came alive the more I smelled it. So next up here, I have Grey's Anatomy and Fake and Bake. And I think Fake and Bake is one of their like more popular scents, if I'm not mistaken. So this blend is zucchini bread, sugar cookies, sweet cream, coffee, pecan pie, and vanilla ice cream. Sounds like a delight. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Y'all know this has zucchini bread in it, so I'm going to love it, right? Let's see. I really get the sugar cookies and zucchini bread. I don't get much coffee on first sniff. Let's see. Maybe a little. And a little of, of the pecan pie. But yeah, this is just a beautiful bakery. Gosh, that smells really, really good. I cannot wait to melt these. Speaking of that, I don't see pour dates or anything on here. So how long when you get these in the mail, if you order from Super Tarts or if you ever melted super tarts how long do you let them cure i've always you know different shops have different times but anytime i place an order with a shop for the first time i'm always curious about cure time so please let me know 
down below. Okay, the next half bam here is called Boo. This is toasted marshmallows, vanilla bean, cornbread, and Mexican fried ice cream. Mmm, that sounds good too. Very, very good. It's very creamy, the marshmallow, vanilla bean. Maybe a little of the cornbread, a bready note. And the Mexican fried ice cream. I feel like it's just a creamy, just a creamy bakery. Very, very pretty. I must have gotten all bakery, I guess. Let's see, the next one is just fake and bake. This is zucchini bread, sugar cookie, and sweet cream. So I'm very excited to try this one. I feel like I've heard a lot of people talk about this one. Yeah, this is really nice. So I get the sugar cookie and sweet cream, I feel like most of all, with just like the zucchini bread in the background. I'm hoping the zucchini, the zucchini bread comes more alive on warm. Or it could just be in the bottom and the more I smell it, the more I'll be able to. But the sugar cookie and the sweet cream really stand out in this one. It's really good. Okay, next up I have marzipan and blueberry tort. This is French baguette, sugar cookie brulee, blueberry tort, and almond marzipan. Y'all know blueberry and almond are two of my favorites and French baguette. So this one should be a winner. Not that they all haven't been, but yeah. Oh gosh, her blueberry is really pretty. The blueberry tort. Mmm, this smells really nice. And the almond gives it an extra sweet. You get the bready French baguette and then that beautiful bakery sugar cookie brulee. Yeah, I can't wait to melt this one. Love, love, love. Next is Happy Fall, y'all. This is homemade biscuits, vanilla bean, and whipped cream. These colors that she chooses are really pretty as well. I love that they're two-toned. Oh, yeah, this is another just like heavy bakery, creamy bakery. The vanilla bean whipped cream with the homemade biscuit with that bready note. I just love a good bread, you guys. Mm. And wax in in real life, honestly. Mm. So, so pretty. This one isn't as strong, I guess, because homemade biscuits, vanilla bean, and whipped cream, not really powerhouse oils or, or scents. But um, I'm sure this one will, will be stronger on warm and, of, co of course, once it cures. But this smells really, really nice. I'm sure that would be good even blended with something else. Okay. Next, we have Harry. This is French baguette, sweetened cereal, marshmallows, and sugary milk. Sugar milk is hit or miss for me, so hopefully this isn't going to lean sour. It doesn't. It smells good. I get the bread note, most of all, with the marshmallows. Sweetened cereal. I don't really get heavy cereal, but this is good nonetheless really good. Maybe just a hint of the sweetened cereal with the sugar milk, but I don't mind it. I like this one. Next is Yippee Kai Yay. This is ice sugar cookies and pine needles. So I really like like tree scents with sugar cookie, like Christmas trees and cream is what I always compare it to from Teddy B's. And so if any shop has like something similar, I'm going to pick it up. Especially this time of year. Like, I still like to melt, like, tree, outdoorsy scents like this with sugar cookies January, February. I'm still melting. Oh, yeah. This is a good one. The pine with the sugar cookies. Just beautiful. Love that. Okay. The last half bam I got is tea time. This is blackberry sweetened cereal. Marshmallows, sugar milk, Earl Grey tea, and sweet cakes. Y'all know I love me a good tea scent. And so, a lot of shops do blackberry with tea, like tea and cakes. Oh yeah, this smells really good. It just kind of smells like a super sweet tea and cakes. It's a like sweet blackberry. I don't really get a... It's not leaning body care. It's almost like a sweet and tart a little bit blackberry and the Earl Grey tea and cakes with marshmallows, sugar milk. I don't get 
much of the sweetened cereal again. But this smells really good. I love tea and cakes. I love tea scents. And this is a good one. Okay. And the last thing I got was a full bam bag. And this is Mia and Fake and Bake. French baguette, zucchini bread, sugar cookies, blueberry torte, sweet cream, and almond marzipan. So kind of similar to, let's see if I can find it. Marzipan and blueberry torte. Let's see. French baguette, sugar cookie, blueberry. Okay. So this one, the Mia Fake and Bake has just sugar cookies, not sugar cookie brulee. Blueberry torte and almond marzipan, French baguette with the addition of zucchini bread and sweet cream. So a little different. Oh, did I show you guys? Let's see. Oh my gosh, I think this is my favorite of all. The zucchini bread, I'm getting more in this blend. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. You get all the notes, honestly. The blueberries there, it just, oh, that blueberry with the zucchini bread is so pretty. I'm actually going to smell it next to this other one. So this one, the marzipan and blueberry tour is sweeter to me and less of a bready. And the Mia fake and bake is more heavy on the bread, the zucchini bread and the French baguette. So I love this and i'm so excited to try these out to, and i'm so excited to have finally tried super tarts i've heard great things about this shop and i love everything that i purchased i mean i kind of did like safer scents for me bakery and bready um but i'm so excited again you guys let me know um how long do you let these cure for and let me know did you order anything from this, this was back, I ordered it on November the 16th, so it's been a while, and I got this maybe yesterday, so that would have been, let me check, I don't even know what today is, you guys. <laughs> it's mom life, like all the days run together. Today is the 4th, so I think I got it on February the 3rd, and again, um, they were super transparent and kept everybody posted in the Facebook group, and so I knew that it was kind of going to be delayed. And, um, again, I'll link all of that information down below. Let me know what you got. Let me know what you're most excited to melt. And I hope you have a wonderful day, week, or weekend whenever you're watching. I'm going to film a few more videos tonight, so stay tuned next week. I've got to do my, um, empties and unempties. I've got another, I think I got another couple of orders in and I'm going to do another collection video. So stay tuned next week for some more videos, or it could be this week, depending on when this goes up. But please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all on my next video very soon. Bye.